What's up, class? Good morning. Hey, just to let you know that we may have school today, and I know you wish we had a snow day, but just be thankful that we don't have to make it up later when it comes June. So, today we are going to learn about table headers and the cull span and row span attributes. So, first, I'm going to just give you a little brief synopsis of it. So, the table headers are basically just an easy way to make something bold and centered that are in a table. Instead of using the bold and the center tag, all right, all you've got to do now is just use a table header tag, and that's a TH. All right, so that's simple. We'll go over that in a little bit in class today. The second thing you're going to do is learn about row span and column span. So let's take, for instance, let's take, for instance, we already have our, we already know about our table. So regular table, regular table might have three rows and three columns. Let's say we only want, um, all right, in, in three rows, three columns makes nine cells, right? Everything intersects to create a cell. Let's say we want this whole top one to not be, to be only one cell, but still have three cells in each of the, in each of the other rows. So for that, we would use a cull span function. And that is C-O-L-S-P-A-N equals, and you put the equal sign to the number of rows that you want the or number of columns that you want that one cell to span. So if we want this one to span three, one, two, three across all three, we would do a cool span three. Okay? And I'll show you where you put that. You put that in the tag of the, the T D that of that row. So next thing, if you want say uh, oh wait, and this this will create a box that looks like this. All right, there we go, getting out of the way, sorry. All right, the next thing we have is the row span, really quick. So say we got, maybe we have a picture, and we want a picture to take up all, one picture to take up all three rows, but we still have all this data that we want to put right here, okay? We use a row span, so. All right, and if we want it to take up three rows, one, two, three, to make that into one, the three, and it will look like this. All right, notice the difference between a cold span and a row span. So cold span does it across horizontally, and row span does it across vertically, okay? So. That's pretty much what we're going to be learning today, and we're going to be implementing it and also finding some more content for our tables. So, catch you on the flip side.